Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Nalin, the Bazooka Prophet, and today I'm going to be continuing from the previous video that we'll be talking about the use of VBT, which is the valence bond theory, to predict the electron configuration, the uh, uh, the type of bonding, and the number of unpaired electrons for each of the following water complexes. Now these are the complexes that are here, we have done for the first one, now the second one. Now the second one, the uh, the IPAC name is called Exa Nickel 2. Now, for me to say Nickel 2, I do not know whether it is Nickel 2 or Nickel 4. So we, we can be able to know, know, know it or know so by uh, calculating for what now the oxygen state of nickel in this complex. Yeah, no if you know that ammonia has a charge or has a valency of zero of it's a neutral molecule. Now zero to is six which is now equal to the secondary charge here, or the secondary valency here, which is plus 2. So nickel has a valency of plus 2. Now, no if you know that nickel has an atomic number of 28, if it loses 2, right, normally the neutral form of this nickel 2, uh, of nickel, is 4s to 3d8. I've already explained to you in our previous video how the loss of the two electrons is Coming from the four x, I find the four is not your but coming from the four x, which is making it to be empty. Because the loss of the two years is coming from this, which is which has been lost, making it to be zero. Now I've told you guys before that you have to put it some at this ligand they will be donating what lone pair, and the number of lone pair it will donate will be six, creating room for six. Uh, 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 six spaces in the orbitals to fill in so here you have 3d8 here 4, uh, 4x 4p 4d that is how we do it if the electron is coming from the if uh, the ligand is filling the 3d to give us an inner if it's filling the 4d to give us an outer orbital complexes from the octahedral what now complex now here we're having eight here right now take note if you are having 3d8, there will be no space. If you move this one here, you cannot be having 3d1. Uh, no, rather, you will not touch this one. Right? So the ligand will now have to count six bosses starting from the 4x, which has one, 4p, which has three. Then it will not make it of two from the 4d. So when you come here, which is first ligand of the ammonia. So, if you observe that the configure uh, the uh, the type of orbital here, since we will be having x, then for p one to three, p three, and uh, making of two here, so to give me what uh, d two. So this one is sp three d two. Now this is the electronic configuration. If they're not asking for the type of bonding, it will give me an outer, right, an outer. Orbital complex and outer orbital complex. Why? Because it makes it of the 4D. Now, we should also understand that if they say unpaired electron here, how many unpaired electrons do I have for nickel uh, for this uh, complex? Say it is two. See now, two unpaired electrons. So here is two, giving me an outer orbital complex, and this is the configuration. And this answer the second question. All right, move to the next one.